now in this case when id equals to 0 my vgs will be 18 volts when vgs is 0 id will be vg upon rs which will be 21.95 milliampere so we've got two values when id is 0 i got my vgs as 18 volts this is we are finding for the bias line drawing the bias line now how to draw the bias line you have the value of maximum vgs and maximum id we are joining these two points we'll find the bias line now, if, now for the transfer characteristics for the transfer characteristics we need to find the value of kn so we can say the equation for k is id on upon vgs on this we are doing for finding the transfer characteristics the whole square so all the values you know so we can find the value of k as 0 0.12 into 10 raised to minus 3 ampere per volt square since you know the value of k the equation for id is k into vgs minus vtn the whole square which is nothing but the threshold voltage k you know 0 0.12 into 10 raised to minus 3 vgs minus 5 the whole square so in equation 1 we can substitute various values of vgs say 15 10 and 20 so for these values you can find the value of id so you get three values of id so for after drawing the transfer characteristics for these three values you can say 10 15 and 20 you got say 27 point something the current or you can say 27 milliampere for 15 you got certain value as 12 milliampere and for 10 you got it as 3 milliampere so these are the three points so when you draw this when you join these three points with the threshold point you will get the transfer characteristics so this is your transfer characteristics and for the load line you have maximum 18 and 21.95 so wherever it cuts the transfer characteristics that point is nothing but your q point so the coordinates of q point you have is vgsq so vgsq versus in the previous case it was same here vgsq and vdsq are different so you can say vgsq from the graph will be around 12.5 volts and idq will be around 6.75 when you draw on the graph you should get these two values from the graph so when you substitute this in the equation of the output that is vds is equal to vdd minus id into rd plus rs so when you substitute the values you will get vds as 14.406 volts so this is how we have found all the voltages and currents which was asked in the questions right thank you for watching in five minutes